All right, I think I am recording. You might hear some background noise. I've got a laptop I'm testing in the background there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see if I could um, actually render, like video edit, render, and play games at the same time. I actually could if I used Adobe Encoder and just let that run in the background. I could probably game that way. Now this is the 69, no, sorry, the 7900X, so it's the X299 Skylake, no, yeah, it's the Skylake, Skylake X, yep. Yeah. And this would work for even better with um, Threadripper or whatever. I just want to see if you can actually do it. Let's have a look here. All right, looksy, looksy. We got the CPU pegged there, okay? So we're choosing all the CPU resources. So if we want a game, I'm gonna to have to um, turn some of those cores off. So if I right click and I go to details and then I right click again and I go to set affinity, I can actually set how many CPU uh, cores this can use. So I'll uncheck them. And I'll just give it one, two, three, four, five, six, six cores. Six cores? Yeah, All right. I'll give it six cores for gaming. So seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, all three. Okay. So now if I look at processor performance and I go here, you can see it's using like 40%. How do I break this out? Graph logical, all right. So now I'm only using 40% of my CPU. Now the GPU is being used as well. This one doesn't show you. So if I go to after burner, all right. So this will tell me how much my GPU is being used, and it's being used on and off because Premiere it doesn't always use the GPU all the time. So yeah it still will be able to be used so let's try and game then so i'm still getting 44 most of the cores are going so i've got one two three four five six seven seven cores and a service core so anyway let's start the game then steam let's play this now, I'm not going to play it on its full settings because um, basically my GPU is being used to render as well. So, And it's actually being used to record this. So my GPU is getting loaded at the moment. But um, we'll see what we can do. Maybe um, let's change it down to 1080. So, and... So we're not taxing the GPU that much. 1080 high. I mean, that's fine. Apply. Okay. Happy with that. And what I should probably do is just only give this four cores. Oh, what's happening? Oh, no. Oh, my machine. I thought my machine crashed for a sec then. Um, I should probably only give this, ah, uh, let's see, game, TSL game, okay, we go to details, we go to, oh no, that's wrong, I don't want that, details, set affinity, yeah, that's the one that's using all that, and we used one, two, three, Four, five, six, and we'll just use seven, eight, nine, and ten G. So there's different CPUs that are using in this rendering here. So, all right, let's see if we can game like 1080p high settings. Um, Titan X in here. So, and it is recording the screen. It's being used to render here and. CPUs are being used to render this Premiere Pro project. And can I still game? Oh, please switch. I don't know what's happening here. Oh, yes. All right. So let's play. Oh, 
Right. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. Oh, you can hear that GTX 1070 in the background. It's like a vacuum cleaner. All right. So, already getting some good frame rates there. Yeah, baby. Now, you got to remember, you might think, oh, 70 frames per second or 70, 80 frames per second is not that much with a um, Titan X at 1080. Oh, we're getting over 100 frames. But you got to remember, I'm rendering right now. So, turn that sound down a bit. All right, so I'm not going to play this game for too long. Um, I'm just going to see what its performance is like. I'm rendering now. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I'm recording, using the GPU to record. The GPU's been used to render in Premiere Pro. I'm using all, like, six cores for rendering uh, the, with the Premiere Pro, and I'm using four cores for this game. So I should have plenty of power here, and I'm getting 95 frames per second. The CPU is getting very hot because it's been taxed twice, 46%. Well, yeah, it is. And the other 50% has been used rendering. So, and the GPU, yep, 73%. And it's amazing that it can actually record me. So I'm using the GPU to be recorded. And let's see if I can give him a punch in the head, this bloke. The settings are like 1080p. This does look on a 4K screen. It doesn't look that great <laughs> let's see if I can give him a punch in the head say surprise mother where are you oh. I really wanted to punch him in the head oh god oh god come on come on oh no well anyway you can see that Jesus Christ, I had that gun in my hand. Well, you can see there, I can play the game. It was playing like 130 frames per second, 1080p. Should I try it at 4K? Oh, should I? Um, all right, I'll try it at 4K, see what happens. Let's try it at 4K. And I will go back to the render. Oh. So this is rendering, and where's the usage here? Okay, so you can actually render out with a 7900X and play a game at the same time, and with Threadripper, it would even be better, because you could probably dedicate 10 cores to rendering with Threadripper and 6 cores to gaming. I mean, how cool would that be? So... And it hasn't crashed, thank God for that, because um, that's a long render I've got there. It's like a 30-minute render. Uh, okay, we are 4K. Mm, maybe I should reduce this. No, I'll push it to the limits. Let's see. Okay. Let's play. It's pretty amazing that GPU has been used by three applications. The game being recorded, the GPU is being used, and Premiere Pro. And so far it looks like it's 60 frames per second, 4K, while I'm rendering and recording using Shadow Play. Oh yeah! I'm very happy with this. Because it was a rendering before, and I thought, oh, I feel like playing Battlefield. I can go to my XPS 15, but I just thought, um, why not test it? S see what happens. Um, yeah, 60, 70 frames per second. Like, to be honest, I don't think it's any different to what it would be if I was just playing the game by itself without any rendering in the background. 
So I'm very impressed with this. Maybe I can see how much uh, GPU I'm using here. Okay, so still not even taxing all the CPU. I could probably give Premiere Pro an extra two cores if I wanted. Um, sorry if the screen goes black when I alt tab, I might do that. Um, come on, start. This time when I jump out, all right, so 40 frames per second, 4K. Oh, it's probably 10 frames I'm losing there. If I drop down the settings, maybe be, maybe 51% um, CPU. Hmm. Ah, so... so 60 frames per second. I'm happy. If I'm getting anywhere near 60 frames per second, uh, 4K high settings, I'm very happy. And yeah, all right, drops. But that game is not really optimized. It's, um, it's a pig of a game in terms of optimization. So I've got a bloke over there, eh? Any other blokes around? Come on. He's got to be coming to this house. He's got to be coming to this house. Come on. I want to punch you in the head. All right. Looks like there's going to be no punching in the head and it's going to be mano a mano. And there we go. 60, 70 frames per second while I'm rendering. Oh, my God. What a beast of a machine this is. Um, I could be literally streaming this as well. So... Um, no guts, no glory. Let's just go in and try and pump him in the head. Let's go. Let's go third person. Oh, where are you, my friend? Where are you, my friend? Come on, come to me, my friend. If he's in here. Ooh, has he gone out of here yet? Where are you, my friend? Damn it. Come on. Where's this black hiding? How can I not find him? Seriously. You're upstairs, my friend. Oh, I heard something. I should be collecting stuff, but really I'm just testing, so where is he? Come on. Got to be around here somewhere. He's gone. Oh well, so I don't know where this bloke is. Um, we'll just wrap it up here and you can see I am gaming um, over 60 frames per second and let's have a look. Still rendering. Pretty cool. I'm not even using all my cores. Unbelievable. So, let's have a look here. What? I'm like using 36% Premiere. I could even go into Premiere and give it a couple extra cores, I reckon. Um, let's go to details. Set affinity. And give it all the other logical cores as well. So over 10, we go to 11, 12, 13. All these other logical cores, it can have them all. Okay. 
So now we're using much more. We're using 66%, 70%. But still, where is this bloke? Well, he's chuffed off on a motorbike. Oh. Anyway, catch you next time, guys. Tally ho.